I keep hearing about how we should study Shakespeare more, so let's talk about Shakespeare and drag. So, as you might know, women aren't allowed on stage in Shakespeare's day. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no law against it, they just thought it was completely beyond the pale. So instead, all the female parts would be played by what they called boy actors. These actors would have to move like a woman, would talk like a woman, they'd learn to look after long wigs, and they'd learn to drag their skirts, which is where we get the term. When they said boy actors back then, they didn't always mean literal children. Um, puberty started way later in Shakespeare's day. You might be waiting until you're 25 until your beard comes through. So really, boy actors would be aged from like 13 or so up to the mid-20s, depending on when your voice breaks. Now, we don't know any of the names of the actors who did these in Shakespeare's plays, and that's probably because they weren't like celebrities like the lead male actors were. Maybe that's something to do with how short your career would be as a boy actor. But either way, Shakespeare clearly has a lot of faith in his boy actors. Some of the female roles are incredibly well developed. In As You Like It, Rosalind alone has a quarter of all the lines. So yeah, when you're studying Shakespeare, remember, Ophelia, written to be played by a man. Juliet, written to be played by a man. Lady Macbeth is a literal drag queen.